Right. And I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody, but just make sure that if you do want to ask a question, you can either A, mute yourself, or B, just go ahead and, and ask the question as I'm going along. And this is the weekly outlook. So what it is is that I just look through all the pairs on a higher time frame. Hey, Missy. Hey, Danny. Thank you guys for being patient. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So DXY, the DXY, I always like looking at it first because this, I trade a lot of USD pairs. And so depending on the strength or the weakness of the DXY, that's how I base what I'm gonna be looking to get into, right? And so first and foremost, I from last week, I had mentioned that I do expect the DXY to drop and it did just that. It, came and just go ahead and show you that broke through the rsi line retested it and then kept on falling which is beautiful that's exactly what i like seeing and everything like that right and so now what i'm looking for realistically speaking is for the us dollar to start retracing from right here right prices came down to this lower danger zone right here right and so if it does respect this lower danger zone what i'm really expecting price to do somewhat is to let me delete this again what i'm expecting price to do is to come back up at least up to the momentum and rsi line i mean not momentum RSI, momentum and lines right here or the mean line I really want it to come back up to the mean line to retest and then continue dropping down to the two deviations. That is what I'm looking for on the dollar sign. We already have our first dollar sign from the Atlas, which is telling us that it is currently it is currently oversold, right? And then if you look down here, this is the RSI line just right here. I'll show you guys the that's oversold. And one wants to come back up. Once you see this black line right here start to climb up and it crosses through this line, that's when you'll see a right up a bright colored dollar sign. How you see right here. You see this as I'm going right here. That's what we um looking for for us to show that okay, price needs to go, go higher. But other than that, I currently still see the like dropping I generally see a retest so that we can see a, a smoother flow in the market. And especially since we don't have anything really traded in this little air in this little space right here we don't have anything that's traded in this little space right there that's kind of like the market needs to not needs to but it usually will trade a little bit in this area before it continues to drop or it goes higher so just want to see the dxy potentially retrace back up and then drop some more that's what i'm looking at for the dxy and it's pro it's most it's probably gonna be the exact same thing I'm looking at for Euro USD. But if you were able to catch this Euro USD buy that I called last week, then um, congratulations on your buy, congratulations on the money you made. But yeah, same like it looks literally the same thing. We have the dollar sign up here that's telling us that Euro USD is overbought. Price came up, retested RSI line, jumped back up. I want to see price come back down to either a the compass or momentum lines or b come down to the mean line right here before jumping back up to continue higher. That's what I want to see personally speaking just so that price could balance well not not yet balance equal itself out and cuz usually I just let me show an example See right here when price started going bullish and it went high and high, I don't usually like getting into a buy trade if price is over here. Not saying that it's not possible for it to keep going up, it very much is. But I just personally don't like seeing it, seeing me buy from, from a price right here on the daily time frame because this could just ultimately, like it could call for the buy like how it did right here and then keep going higher. That's not a trade that I would personally want to get into just like as you see right here price was selling 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 but then you saw that you have the sell and then look how low price is already 
it would have faked you out and then you would have took a major loss right there unless you waited for price to come back down here but that's my point that i'm trying to say is that i don't really want to buy right here if i were to get into euro usd i'd want it to come back and give me a retracement of some sort if like i said as long as it comes to this mean line right here that's what i want the retracement to come back to before i continue to hold on. there you go before i continue buying other than that if i don't get this or at least price to come back here to the momentum and um encompass line then i'm not gonna buy this i'm just gonna let it keep buying and do its thing but other than that that's yeah that's why like i said that's what i want to see let's go on the weekly time frame just to take a look and see what it looks like okay so on the on the weekly time frame we have price that came right above the mean line it still has this, the weekly still hasn't called for the buy to, the buy yet, which is somewhat of a good sign to me, although everything is basically lined up for the buy. So we do, could, would expect that your USD does go a little for, a little higher. But again, like I mentioned, I really would rather prefer to see price come down and retest right here before going bullish completely. Because on the weekly time frame, what that would look like is possibly like during the week, oh yeah, it drops and then it continues higher, which will leave a huge wick. So um, let's go on the four hour time frame, see what that's looking like. Yeah, so on the four hour time frame, you can see the same thing as well as showing that it's overbought. You have four like four overbought signs right there. It's at the two deviations up here as well. So I'm expecting yeah, and price, look where the line's at as well over here. It's right close to the mean line as well. So that would be a good retest for a continuation for me personally. Um, our time frame, I do kind of believe that it might be setting up for a sell. And I'm pretty sure the 15-minute already called for the sell. Yep, so your USD is, started, is like setting up for a sell. I like where the RSI line is at. This might be a trade that I might be looking at for tonight or maybe possibly tomorrow. So we'll get the break of the RSI line. Retest. And then drop. That would be ideal for what I'm looking for. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure the 15 minute time frame is already called for the sell. And it's probably already like at the mean line or something like that. Take a look right now. Yeah, oh man, never mind. It, already, it had already been called for the sell like last week. Yeah, called for the sell last week. That was a couple of, on the 15 minute, that was a couple of like what? Like 40 pips. That's pretty decent. Price came back up, called for the buy right here. I'm not looking for buys though, so I'm disregarding the 15 minute time frame. But yeah, one hour time frame, I'm definitely going to actually set up an alert for this because I like the sell. This could be a good intraday slash day trade that's setting up for my for our swing. Cause I do want to see your USD go bullish like for the next like month, month and a half type type of thing. <laughs> so your USD AB 8.0 arbitrage short and boom creates. And so once that alarm goes off, that would be my my signal, my entry telling me that, okay, this would show the down arrow, but I'll also want to look at these two to tell me that, okay, it's selling because these two, my arbitrage Z and my level pro, they're not telling me to sell anything yet. The only thing that's telling me to sell is the Atlas and that's only because the background is red. So I'm not looking, I'm not trying to jump into anything or try to sell anything as of yet i'd probably most likely want to see eu come back up here to 1.11335 for a double top and then start to drop that's what i would prefer to see so let's see how that plays out but yeah like i said this is going to be like the intraday trade type of thing and we are technically like i said well not even technically on the daily time frame we are bullish so us trying to sell price is we're going up we're going against the trend 
But like I said, it's only going to be like for an intraday trade, probably for like a quick 50, 60 pips, and then we're out of there. So let's see how that plays out. Any questions on EU so far? Any questions on EU? No questions, comments, concerns, nothing? I have a question. I'm sorry. All right, it's all good. No worries. What's the question? You say on EU, since we're like, if we go against the trend, you say wait for it to pull back to what? What did you say wait for it to pull back to? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So we are going against the trend on this trade, but what I would want to see on the hourly time frame is for a double top pattern to happen. I want to wait and see for, let me make this look a little better. So what I would want to see is a double top or an M formation. So we have a price came up here and then it dropped. I'd want to see it come back up one more time, even if it doesn't come exactly up here, but just around in this general area, I would want price to come up to, to then drop. Because that, that'll be like a, the pattern that I'm looking for and that'll be like, okay, so that's another piece of confluence that I could use to sell this with. You get what I'm saying? I do. Thank you. I got it. Thank no problem. you. No problem. Sounds good. All right. Any other questions? All right. Nope. Nope. Sounds good. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on to GBP USD. This is going to be an interesting pair to look at this week. Oh, and I totally forgot to look at the upcoming news events but i can go ahead and do that later all right so i had mentioned this last week on gpusd and i'm still expecting kind of the same thing to happen this week so last week we had seen that gu had shown was showing us that it was wait one two three four five so no two weeks ago i had mentioned that um gu was oversold right here that i'm expecting price to go back up to retest the rsi line and it took it actually took two weeks for that to happen rather than in one week, but we do have price. It's still currently at this RSI line. So right now I am currently, realistically speaking, I'm waiting to see if price is going to hold this RSI line and I want to realistically sell it, especially since I want to see strength in the U.S. dollar right now, especially since I want to see that and I want to see the U.S. dollar like retrace to go up. I want to see GU go down. Because, well, first of all, let's go to the BXY before I continue explaining. So currently, BXY is showing basically the exact same thing. So the BXY, which is the Great Britain, the Great Britain Pound Currency Index, um, it is showing, like, like I said, the exact same thing. It was showing that it was oversold. Price came back up to the RSI line. I still want to see price respect right here and continue dropping. Like if I were to take a sell on G, GU, realistically speaking, if I were to take a sell and it was like right now, like, oh, am I going to sell? Am I going to buy it right now? I'd be, I'd want to sell it, especially seeing that price is over. I mean, it's under this RSI line. But if I do start to see that price is starting to creep up and go higher, then this RSI line right here, like if it starts to go higher, like how it did on this wick, but then it dropped down, then I'd want to sell it. Currently, these indicators, this hasn't showed us that it wants to buy yet, so that's a good sign for me. And as well as the level pro, it's it's over the lines right here, but for the BXY in particular, you want to wait until tomorrow around 7 seven o'clock a.m central standard time so that you can be able to see how it opens because right now this is going to show you the real time of what the great britain pound is until tomorrow that's just how it is it, it opens at 7 a.m and closes at 3 p.m central standard time so you just gotta wait for that but in regards to gu going back to gbp usd
you can definitely see that for the Atlas, it's calling for the buy because of the change in the background. But I'm still not 100% convinced on that buy just yet. I want to see price break through that RSI line before I even think of buying it. And we can see that this wick price had whipped up to the mean line and it is still respecting this RSI line right here. So right now, honestly speaking, I see a perfect opportunity to sell GU on a long term on a long term time frame. But my only issues for on on the daily on the daily, like I said, is well, this is showing that it doesn't want to buy it, so that's a good sign for me. But the level pro is again same thing as with on the BXY is what's troubling me because we have prices over ground zero. So maybe the maybe trying to sell right now, you don't have all your confirmations, but I like the chances of it overall just because it's under the RSI line. Now, if we go into the four hour time frame, it's probably gonna show, yeah, it's pro probably gonna show us that it's bullish. And look, we have a double top. This is exactly what, the same thing I was looking for on GU. So we had price come up, came down, respected the RSI line, I like that, came back up, and now it's respecting up here at this little support, and I'll draw the support out so that it's a little more visible. We have price came up and is respecting this support right here. So I like how this looks right here. So I personally, and it's at this two deviations as well, which is another form of confluence. So right now, I want to take the, I want to take GU down. I want to sell it. I, I don't like, and this is big going based off of the daily time frame. If it's going based off of the four hour, you wouldn't want to necessarily sell nor buy yet because it just looks a little off. This isn't a setup that I would preferably look for. But like I said, on the daily time frame, just because right now price is respecting this RSI line, and this is a key thing for my for my personal trading plan or for my trading style, I want to see it respect this and then sell. So with that being said. Go on to the one hour time frame. I'm pretty sure it's setting up for a sell. Let me see. Not necessarily setting up for the sell, but the RSI line is getting there. Let me delete all that drawing I just did. So we had price last time it came up here, came up, touched those two deviations. That's another good sign of confluence for me. The RSI line is starting to creep up towards the upper danger zone. Yeah, this is something I definitely want to look to be selling. Like I'm pretty sure the 15 minute time frame might be a good time to look for an entry on this. Yeah, just everything is over the RSI line right now, but I still like the sell. You see that we had the little M on the 15 minute time frame, then price dropped. Retesting that general area. Nah. Yeah, definitely. I like I like the sell on GU. I might actually get in this, maybe not right now, but maybe like in the next two or three hours, maybe during London session at 2 a.m. my time, maybe that's the time that I want to get into the sell. But GBP pairs, I personally want to see them drop just based off of looking at the BXY and GU. So any questions on that? I personally look at the 15 minute time frame to look for a possible entry yeah no not really i'd rather press i'd rather look at the one hour so one hour one hour time frame i'm waiting for price to come down to break through this rsi line and then possibly retest it and keep going up i mean keep dropping so any questions on gu No questions on GU, no if ands or buts. So, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I couldn't unmute. It's Lorraine. Hi, Abdul. Hey, Lorraine. It's all good. No worries. What's going on? Yeah. So, is it a um, like a long, like a long sell then? Like it's, it looks like that yeah. kind of setup because I, I got a report that it was in on an uptrend on Friday, and so I was wondering. So on the lower time frames, it definitely is 
on a uptrend when you talk about like four hour, one hour, um, possibly even the six hour time frame, you that, that's definitely is definitely an uptrend, right? Okay. But on the daily time frame, the only thing that that's stopping me from buying is because price is still under the RSI line. Got you. Okay. So if this if price can cross through the RSI line, then I'd want to, then I switch up my my bias real quick, you know? Yeah. Okay. And I also Thank like selling day. right here where it's at because our risk to reward would is isn't that much. Right? So if I were to sell right here, this is what my trade would have looked like. I, I'd want to put it right above my wick. Mm -hmm. I mean the previous wick right here, so that if price does try to wick me out it wake me out then i wouldn't get be affected but this is what i would look for if i already if i already trade to right here to the um, lower danger zone i'm risking about 60 70 pips and i'm going for 287. now that's only if i'm coming for if i'm coming for the um lower danger zone if i'm going even lower than that then it would be right here at the two deviations and then the risk to reward increases. You have a, a one to nine risk to reward and you're going for 621 pips while you're sacrificing 69. But again, that's only if you're swinging this. Like if you're super right. swinging it, try not to trade it for like the next two weeks or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but if you're looking for it for like a short term trade for like an hour or something like that, I mean, an hour for like a day or something like that. Then I would like, I would definitely check out the one hour time frame. Yes. And wait for it to, to settle for the sell. Perfect. Okay. That's basically all I'm waiting for. Like I could, if I really wanted to, I could get into this trade because I could handle drawdown of any type. But I'm being, I'm being safer and just waiting for the one hour to set up for me. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Um, any other questions? No questions. All right. All right. So again, like I said, I, if you want to go ahead and get into this trade, that's perfectly fine by me. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. Probably if I get off this call and I still like how it looks, I might get in, <laughs> but just be, like I said, just be careful because it is, it does still look like it could potentially keep going higher, but I'm not expecting that. I'm more expecting for price to drop. All right. So I have a question real quick on it. So if, let's say if you didn't really want to take as much drawdown off of it. I'm sorry, repeat that. that up, I can't, couldn't hear you that much. If, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm traveling, so my phone is going in and out. But if you want not to take such a big, drawdown and you want to set maybe like a sell stop where would you set it at if i were to set a sell stop on this trade realistically speaking i'd put my sell sell stop somewhere around 1.23 200 or even a little lower than that like 1.23 175 that's mm, a little lower than that i'll put it at 1.23 100 like for a more conservative sell stop and that that's a good question actually thank you no problem no problem that's a really good question yeah if i were to put a sell stop that would be where i'd put it at i am and if i do set that st sell stop i wouldn't be surprised if price did continue i mean if price did go back up a little bit more before dropping but that's where i put my sell stop at Love the question, love the question. All right, any other questions before I continue to the other pairs? All right, let's go on to USD CAD because this is the pair that I've been trading for the past for the past week. This did absolutely marvelous last week. Um, I had mentioned just to show what I called last week. So we had the break of the RSI line right here, touched the mean line, retested the RSI line, and then continued dropping to the lower danger zone. That was beautiful. I've taken all my profits off of this trade. Once I started seeing that the oversold sign was, was here, I went ahead and took my profits. 
And so right now, what I'm looking for, and it's kind of the same thing, what I'm looking off of the DXY, is that I want to see price come up here to retest the mean line, if possible. Oop. What was the sell stop for GU again? Um, GBP, USD. Let me go there real quick. I believe I said 1.21, 100? 2, 3, 100. Yeah, 1.23, 100. There you go. Awesome. Thank you for answering. And so back to USD CAD. Oh, wow. That is definitely not. Anyway, so for the daily time frame on the US, on USD CAD, um, I'm expecting, like I said, I want price to come back up to retest this broken mean line to continue dropping if that's what it wants to do, which I do think it, it will continue dropping because it's the same, basically the same exact play as the DXY. So I wanted to retest mean line, then drop down to come and hit, well, probably not this low, but right here would probably be where this ends up coming for the next week. So yeah, I want price to come up and retest, drop down. So this week I'm looking for buys on USD CAD. Not a fan of selling it when it's down this low. Um, let me see where this lines up with right here. Okay, yeah, like right where, oh, perfect. Yeah, so if we do get this close right here, then this gap that USD CAD had previously shown, it would close, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. Closed, close of gap. Yeah, so if we can get the retest and then sell, that'd be highly beneficial for USD CAD. So gonna be looking for a price to start showing that it wants to go bullish. Um, right here, if you look at the level pro, the RSI line is still showing that is, I mean, the um, arbitrage line, this yellow line right here, it's still showing that price is bullish. While the RSI line, it came down here and sunk. I still expect, I'm expecting it to come back up. So this line right here is giving me more confluence and telling me that, okay, it's not necessarily ready to sell yet. Because we have to, we have to remember, oops, wrong. Um, but because we have to remember that UCAD it did this huge bullish move up here and still hasn't really necessarily sold from from it. So technically speaking, this is still overall in an uptrend. If we go into weekly time frame, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So you see, this was the let me go over here. Oops. Overall, UCAT is definitely in the uptrend. So we have the low, we have the high. No, let's just do it from right here. Low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, equal high. Well, not really equal, but price did end up selling for a little bit, but it never broke through this structure. That's right here. Never broke through here. I'll draw the line out. right there. It never broke through this structure right here. So the trend really didn't necessarily break. It consolidated for a couple of weeks, went bullish to make a higher high. So technically speaking, USD CAD is definitely in the uptrend, but I want to, we, what's the point of trying to catch a price change of a trend if you're not catching it from the top? Like if, you want to sell low and buy high. So you trying to sell in the middle, it doesn't really, it won't be really beneficial. <laughs> Man, hey, just cause you hate UCAT doesn't mean that I don't, that, mean, that doesn't mean that I hate it. UCAT has been paying me. So I'm more than happy looking at UCAT. But anyways, yeah, USD CAD, definitely want to see that retracement just like on the other USD pairs before it continues dropping. Um, 
Any questions on you? Wait, before I ask that question, let's go on the one hour time frame and see if it's setting up for the buy. It actually called for the buy, although it was very wishy-washy kind of thing. It bought, faked out, dropped to the sell, bought again off of this candle. I don't like that buy, but I still see that price is over the RSI line, so that's good confluence for me. I want to see it buy up a little bit. Four hour time frame, it's still, oh yeah. I like how price is over the compass and the momentum line right here, but that doesn't still tell me that I want to buy right now, especially on the four hour time frame. So mostly I think I'm going to be looking, let's see what the two hour looks like. Oops, there we go. Yeah, the two hour time frame looks way better to me on USD CAD. Usually if the one hour looks like how it looks on the on, on USD CAD, I'll go on the two hour time frame to see what that looks like. And this looks way better because what do we have? We have the break, retest, and look where this lines up. It lines up exactly with the um, upper danger zone right here. So yeah, I like the two hour time frame for UCAD. I might trade this tonight maybe tomorrow, mostly, most likely tomorrow morning, but I'm looking for buys on UCAD for sure. So actually what I'll do is I'll set up an alert, oops, wrong one, for long exit all on UCAD on the two hour time frame, And I'll also set up a time frame. I mean, uh, an alert to tell me when UCAT is crossing through the arbitrage RSI line, when it's crossing down. So this is gonna tell me that when price is crossing down the RSI line, shout out Peyton for showing me that. And then I'll be like, okay, maybe I should start getting ready to get out the cell. But I'll put once per bar close. It might That might be a little too late actually. Mm. yeah once per bar and we'll see how that goes all right so usd cad i'm expect i'm looking for buys uh buy looks really solid right now except for when you're looking at this this hasn't crossed through ground zero yet so that's one thing that i'm watching for and then another thing i'm watching for is these two as well the z line this purple line right here and the arbitrage line the orange yellow looking line hasn't crossed through ground zero yet either so i'm just watching for that but personally i like the sell the, the buy on you got and if you don't like it painting i'm sorry <laughs> any questions on you cad No questions, comments, concerns, none of that. All right, sounds good. I might actually hop in this realistically, but I want to see Global Pro go up a little bit. But anyways, what is a PIP? Well, I forgot what PIP actually stands for. Percentage in price. There you go. A pip is a percentage in price, and that's how you would measure price. Bro, are you really asking me this question? <laughs> or is this like just a trick question? <laughs> well, you said what is a pip, so. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, so that's UCAD. Any other questions? <laughs> All right, cool. So. Um, let's go on to USDJPY. UJ took me out a break even. I'm glad that I took my partial profits from this trade when I did. JPY, as I've shown you guys, the Japanese yen apparently is in a recession. Well, the Jap Japan is, is in a recession. And so I got kicked out of that trade, but it looks like price dropped a little lower. Question mark. Let's go on a daily time frame and see what's going on here. All right, so basically we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven days of price being up here on USD JPY. That's something that it likes to do, as you can see towards the left. But I don't like the way how this candle looks right here. This candle is telling me that USD JPY doesn't want to sell. 
it wants to actually buy. And price looks like it's currently trying to break through right here. And I don't, that doesn't surprise me because the Japanese yen is currently in a recession. If you look at the other JPY pairs, we probably see something very similar or just we'll see that it's skyrocketed. Yep, look at, boom. Price is skyrocketed on Euro JPY. Let's go to GBP JPY. We have some consolidation, but mostly bullish. Let's go to look at AUD JPY. That's gone bullish. So yeah, like we're just seeing every all the JPY pairs bullish. Let's go to NZD JPY. I'm pretty sure you guys get the point of this time, and I'm just being annoying. But yeah, everything is all bullish on the JPY pair, so it doesn't surprise me to see USD JPY just consolidating because both the US dollar and the Japanese yen is showing weakness. But I'm expecting the US dollar to retrace and pick up strength, so that's giving me more confidence in saying that USD JPY is going to go bullish. Especially, like I said, especially with this daily candle right here, how it came down and retested the RSI line so low and then jumped back up. That's telling me that this wants to buy. And let's look at what the level pro is saying. Yep, this is calling for a buy, although it's starting to point down. It's I still like that for a buy. Um, arbitrage Z as well. Everything is over except for the this purple line but that still doesn't tell me that oh i want to sell but yeah uj definitely want to buy it i'm pretty sure the four hour oh wow yeah four hour it called for that sell oversold immediately jumped up so could be expecting price to call for a buy very shortly on that one hour time frame i'm pretty sure yeah it might come down a little lower to this mean line and then start buying. But I don't like any of those time frames. Let me look what the two hour looks like. Yeah, two hour doesn't look that great either. But personally speaking, daily time frame, USD JPY. I am trying to buy. I don't think that it oop, I don't know what I pressed. I meant to go on a daily. But yeah, I'm trying to buy because overall it is calling for the buy it is over the rsi line price did come down retest the rsi line then jump back up it just hey we'll see what happens over the week but my opinion it's gonna buy any questions mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no questions all right what is this I have no idea what that is, but anyways. All right, um, let's go look at USD Mexican real quick. Tacos, tacos. I want me some tacos. Nah, but anyway, USD Mexican be showing mad love. All right, so we got our second dollar sign. I personally thought that price was gonna stop right here and then retrace a little bit, but it definitely didn't do that. Got a nice sell. Uh, last week i had mentioned that i was taking my profits down over here because price was just consolidating here i kind of expect price to come back up not even kind of i do expect price to come back up to the mean line to continue dropping for a continuation on usd mexican that's what i want to see on an hourly time frame I'm just going to do this real quick because this looks like usd mexican I mean, USD CAD. So price had broken through the RSI line. It kind of looks like price might drop down a little lower. We still haven't even got the official buy call on this yet. So would be a little patient for the buy, realistically. And we want a two hour time frame. Yeah, it's. I still think that this has the, the opportunity to go down a little lower, especially since the RSI line isn't in this lower danger zone, the pocket. So. This could go a little lower probably before going up. Yeah, I thought so. I, I didn't even I didn't even see him say that. But yeah, definitely Royce 
thinks the same thing, say, yeah, I think this could go down a little lo lower before popping up a little. Yeah, I agree with him. So, uh, for but for me personally, I'm not in this trade right now. I've I've gotten like a nice bag off of this last week. And I mean, off of the past two weeks actually, because it's just been free falling from up here when I caught it. So from when I caught it to where it's at right now, that's about like what 600 pips. No, I'm tripping. So I'm not 100% sure that the this pip count is what it really is, but you is this does pay out more than regular forex pairs. So right now this says like like that's 19,394 pips. I don't think that that's that much. I think it's 1,939 pips, but I could be wrong. But this definitely paid some of my rent <laughs> this month. Yes, tacos, tacos is life. Tacos is definitely life. I do probably, I do see it potentially coming down even to the lower danger zone before it pops up but i want to personally see it jump up here before i buy i sell it again that's just me personally so yeah usd mexican on the 15 minute i'm pretty sure it's already called for a sell yep yeah on the 15 minute time frame it's definitely looking like it wants to drop which which comes with the whole Oh, on the one hour and two hour, it looks like it still go lower. So I could still see it coming down even to this three deviations down here before trying to retrace or even possibly lower. So I'll pay attention to it, but personally, I'm not gonna really touch it. I don't wanna sell as is this low and I don't wanna also buy without any confirmations. So we'll wait on that. Any questions? Any questions on some tacos? Sorry, you said you don't want to sell because it's that low. What do you mean by that? So, and this is just my tr personal trading style. When I see that price is sold for this long right here, and then it stopped and it's like consolidating down at this level, mm -hmm. I'm not really comfortable trying to sell it while it's this low. I want to see some type of retracement before i then sell before i continue selling gotcha okay and and the reason why that is is because what does price do it creates it's at a high it's created a low now mm -hmm. i wanted to create a a, a lower high mm -hmm. to then create a lower low yeah so th that, that's that's just that's just me personally like i said i, I don't i would definitely expect price to come down here to the lower danger zone before before going back up. But me personally, I'm not gonna just jump into the cell right now. Okay. All right. Now the question. Any other questions? No questions. All right, all right. Um I'm trying to think of any US. Oh yeah, USD CHF is another pair that people have been talking to me about more often, and I'm just like, <sighs> USD USD Chef has just been a little irritating to say the least to me. <laughs> but we finally got that sell that I've wanted. I remember I got into a sell, price dropped after I got out went back up i got into that cell and then price dropped i was happy about it came back up to take me out the trade and then dropped again <laughs> it's just been really shaky but me seeing it down here at this level and seeing what the dxy is doing i personally would want to see it come back up to the mean line at least up here maybe even come back to the rsi line i don't want to see it come back to the rsi line at all, realistically come back up here and then continue dropping that's what I would want to see on USD Chef, but and just like how Payton just mentioned, it does look a little shaky. It doesn't look as good as any of the other pairs. But yeah. Um hourly time frame, it's probably calling for a sell deep. Yeah, it's not even trying to call for a buy. I like how the RSI line is right here 
at the lower danger zone though. So we could definitely see price start to show some bullish momentum probably in the next day or two. But wanna wait and see what the confirmations tell us because nothing is officially telling us to buy right now. Maybe on the 15 minute it's setting up. Yeah. And even on the 15 minute, it doesn't look that great either. It just looks like it's just down here chilling. So gonna wait a couple hours, probably wait till tomorrow at New York session and see what it looks like. But overall, like I mentioned, I wanna see price come back up to the mean line, then drop. So any questions on you, Chef? Any questions on USD Chef? Chef USD? I don't know. <laughs> no, no questions. All right, awesome, awesome. Um, I'll take a look at GA. As I'm going through these other pairs that aren't USD related, other than gold and the US indices, does anybody want me to look at any other pairs? Other than those two pairs, is there any, any other pairs that anybody wants me to look at? Let's see. EA, for sure I'm looking at EA. I was going to look at EA right after GA. All right, sounds good. But no, EA is definitely one of my favorite pairs to trade nowadays. It, it, it is. It's in the game. It is, man. EA has been really in the game. <laughs> Ah, uh, I love it. All right. GN, all right, sounds good. GPNCD, not a pair that I really trade, but I, I kind of like the way it moves. All right, so GA, GA. So this support is still holding right here after this, after this whole week. Still holding at the support. Price is still just consolidating. Still hasn't given us a clear signal if it wants to buy and retrace i don't know if that's gonna happen we already see that the rsi line on the daily time frame is starting to come down here so we could possibly see price start to push up i've been saying that for the past two weeks and that's not what ga has been doing but from the way how this rsi looks on the four hour it kind of looks like price might be starting to might come down a little more Realistically, it's, I don't, I just don't like the way how it looks. It's just been consolidating so much. One hour time frame, ill. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's all I could look think of when I'm looking at the one hour time frame because I can't, I don't like how this looks. It's just been a lot of fake outs. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Like, I don't want to trade on this time frame. Just based off of where it's at right now and the call for the sell, I'd be wanting to sell, but then, I'm still looking for buys on GA on the other time frame. So one hour for me, personally speaking, it's out of the question. I don't want to trade that. The four hour though, I just, I don't know. I see, this is what I see right here. I see that price came down here, made one touch retest. The RSI line dropped again, has been riding this. So I still consider this a double bottom and in some weird way i suppose although it's touched way more than twice and i still wanted to see it go bullish so that's personally what i see on ga i don't necessarily want to see it drop but if the if the british and if the bxy the great brand pound currency itself if it's losing if it's losing strength then ga ultimately most likely will drop but if then if you look at the AXY, which I haven't looked at, yeah, the, a, the AUD is mad bullish right now. So that's probably, well, that not, it's not probably, that is probably, that is a reason why the GA's just been chilling because it's trying to go, it's trying to go bearish because of the axy it wants to keep selling because of the axy and i don't blame it so that being said ga 
kind of iffy on it right now. I like EA way better than GA for sure. Just trading it. But this could be definitely a good opportunity to swing. I just wanted to show me a sign that it's, it is going to go bullish because it's just been consolidating, like I said. So just leaving that alone. Um, Euro AUD. It's about the same, basically. It's just been consolidating in place for the past couple of weeks. Um, I do want to really see EA continue going bullish, realistically speaking. I do want to see it go bullish after it just dropped like how it did. Um, for our time frame, I'm pretty sure that it is. Yeah. It is calling for the buy. It, bu it bought a little bit, came back down, and it is that a gap? Is this in the gap in the market that I see? I think it is. Let me go on one hour real quick. Oh, never mind. It is in a gap. It kind of looked like one. But anyways, this one hour time frame is calling for the sell, but I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the sell. I'm I like the buy way more than the sell right now. Especially our price is just at this RSI line chilling. We might get the the buy for a London session, maybe not to 100 percent sure on that. Price is over the mean line over here as well. So that's another good confluence telling me that it wants to buy. And it's already called for this buy. The level pro right here, it's bullish. So that's another good sign for me right, right here. Only thing that's really stopping me for wanting to buy is that well, even this, we see that the arbitrage line is technically over ground zero. So like I mentioned, I'm bullish on GA. I'm mean on EA for sure. I like that it's at this lower danger zone. It could potentially still drop though. Like the daily time frame is still coin is still selling for sure. So you just want to be careful with that. But overall, let's go on the weekly. Just want to see what this looks like. Yeah, bro. Look at what it's doing on the weekly. The weekly is stronger than the daily, so. I'm trying to I'm trying to buy it because it's just respecting and writing on this RSI line right here on the weekly. Yeah, give me my buys. I want to buy this. I might actually get into this after this call, realistically. Just for like a long term buy. But any any questions on EA and GA? GA, I'm still being patient with it. EA is kind of the same thing. You have to be kind of patient with it, but EA looks better for the buy than GA, personally speaking. Oh, and would you look at that? UCAD is already misbehaving. So you see, that's why I'm glad I didn't get in because it's already looking like it wants to play around over there a little bit. <clears throat> One second, I'm tech. tech. All right, so um, EA, no questions, comments, concerns, none of that. If not, we'll go on to GBP and ZD. I have not looked at this on a daily time frame in a while, and wow, it looks like the same thing on the AUD pairs, basically. Price has just been consolidating. Eh, not really consolidating, but it's been just chilling at this general area right here. Let me just draw this box out. Just been chilling at this general area right here. Um, nothing's telling me to sell. I mean, nothing's telling me to buy GN right now, but I do see that we did have some oversold marks right here, so that's kind of telling me that okay maybe I want to be patient and maybe the price will start going a little higher up um four hour time frame let me look at this on the four hour it looks like price might go bullish though and I think that Peyton and I we actually talked about this pair last week if if I'm not mistaken but we were actually and it did it I think we were and it did what we were talking about 
that we wanted price to go up, but then we ended up didn't. It actually dropped even lower. Yeah, we did talk about this. <laughs> that price ended up going lower and now it probably would go a little bullish i i really do believe we did talk about this pair so um gn is a pair that i think i want to likewise with ga i want to see it go bullish um we want the one hour time frame i'm pretty sure it's called for the buy and already did yep it already moved on the on the one hour time frame yeah, I kind of want to see this come down a little more back to these candles over here because that by then the the RSI line most likely would have crept up a little bit and then continue buying. That's what I want to see on GN. I want to see it go bullish right now. Um, it is really low down here on the daily time frame and I like how it's at the two deviations right here. So yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing this realistically for price to come back up here and if gn is going to continue going bearish for it to keep going i wouldn't mind seeing that at all i wouldn't mind seeing price to go bullish for the rest of the week and then end up dropping if it doesn't happen it might, it might just continue consolidating who knows i mean the gp pair the gb pairs ultimately i kind of want to see them go bearish because of what we've seen from GU and the BXY. But if the New Zealand dollar is weaker than the Great Britain pound, then ultimately it'll just go up. But if they're both kind of like equally weak, then it's just gonna keep consolidating. So any questions on GN? Let me look at, like I said, the one hour time frame is already played out. So I'm mostly looking at the four hour. The four hour really looks good for a potential buy. I'm actually gonna set this up. AB 8.0, long entry, yep. And then create, because like I said, this does look good for a buy. So if this calls for a buy and then I'll take a look and see what it looks like, maybe I'll get in. So any questions on GBP NZD? No questions. All right, sounds good. I think Bitcoin might be dropping. I'm gonna look at some crypto today. I've I really have not been focusing on crypto. I like I've just been having having it on my as like in my portfolio status, not really trading it. Let's go on to gold. I'll go into the US indices and then pay attention to crypto and all that. So with gold, gold is gold is just interesting, man. Gold is really interesting. Um, I had mentioned to some people like that trade this. They've asked me, and they're like, "Okay, so what do you think of gold?" I don't have any idea what gold wants to do. The only thing that I I mentioned was that I see that price was looking like it was retesting this on Friday, or was it on Thursday that I said that to somebody? I think it was on Friday. But anyways. Um, Friday, that price might respect here, come up again to hit this general area and just make a higher high. I do think that gold is just going to go and create a higher high at probably 1800. That's my opinion on gold. I don't think it's ready to drop. I don't think it's going to sell. I would definitely not want to buy while it's up here, especially with the amount of pips it's already moved in the past couple hours, which is how many? So market opened up right here. So gold has already moved up freaking 105 pips. So I'm definitely not even trying to trade this right now. It's showing that it looks like it's overbought. It might sell back down, back and come back down to 1725, which if it does, then hey, maybe that can be your entry to take gold up to 1800. But I don't want, I'm not trying to sell gold right now at all that's just maybe later on maybe maybe tomorrow maybe later on in the day but i'm not trying to sell gold right now i just yeah it's just not for me i don't like the way how it looks for a sell and 
even the bull, it's like it is up at this resistance. If you want to look at it in that type of way, it is up at this resistance right here. But it just looks like it's bullish. It came and retested the daily RSI line. What's the weekly look like? Even the weekly looks like this. <laughs> Uh man, even the weekly is calling for over bots, but it still looks like it could go up. I still think it is going to go up. On the weekly, it looks like it come up to 1921, if anything. But yeah, overall, I think this is going to create a higher high. I wouldn't try to sell gold, if anything. Like, just if you're in a buy, keep holding it. If you're not in a buy, wait for price to come down to like 715, 725 and buy it. That's my suggestion. But overall, yeah, on the four hour time frame, it's called for the buy. It would have been nice to buy it if mark at market open. Well, not really. I would have rather preferred it. Yeah. 1724, 1725, or 1720, that general area would be good to get into the buy to take it up higher. But yeah. Y'all can keep the sales on gold. Um, any questions on, on that? Gold is mad bullish. All these signs, all this right here, just showing bullish signs. Nothing's telling me to sell, so. No questions, comments, concerns, etc. Wrong Dow Jones. All right. Mr. Dow Jones is in playing games. So last week, if I'm not mistaken, I think I took off the drawings from this. I had mentioned that I want to see the Dow Jones fall. It looks like it's probably going to start doing that pretty soon. We see a dollar sign right there, dollar sign right there, showing that it's overbought. Doesn't mean the price can't keep going up though, because as we've seen in the past, it shows, it has shown that it is oversold and it kept dropping. So doesn't mean that this can keep going up, but personally price being at this upper danger zone, I wanna see it drop. That's one confluence I had. My man Payton, me and him have been talking about this drop. Um, and I'm pretty sure once he does his analysis, he'll explain more about that. Um, likewise, with if I throw a Fibonacci on here, I see where price is at. It's at the 61.8 area slash. It didn't necessarily come all the way up here to 20 to the 71 percent Fib, but I'm it's not that far off realistically. So. Could potentially see it go higher up there, but want to see this drop, personally speaking. Let's go on the four hour time frame. Four hours setting up for a sell. I'm pretty sure the one hour is already called for the sell. Um, this looks like right now, though, that price is just retesting it to go higher. So, like I said, with on that fib, I could still see price go a little bit higher before dropping one hour time frame oh yeah this cell has already been called it got called right here dropped a little bit lower um yeah i really i mean to get into it and to enter into a cell realistically for price to come up to the mean line and then drop that wouldn't be such a bad thing to see if it was going to sell right now but I still do kind of believe that price might go a little higher before dropping. Let me go to SPX 500 and see what that looks like. I mean, this is at the 71% Fibonacci level, if I'm not mistaken. Got to close this off a little bit. There you go. Yeah, right at the 71. So it's still like, yeah, I could see these totally dropping right here. 
go up a little higher, maybe, and then drop. I definitely do see that overall on the U.S. indices. But other than that, I wouldn't try to buy at these levels, although it's showing that it is bullish. There's nothing really telling us to sell, except if you go into lower time frames, like the hourly. Like I said, this part for the sell. If anything, I'd rather sell this than try to sell US 30. But that's just my personal opinion, especially when we have this engulfing candle right before the market closed last week. Oh, wait, no, this was market open today. Oh, wow. So it did, it's done this already. Okay. Well, goddamn. But yeah, this candle over here is just telling me that price may be looking to go bearish, but we'll see what happens. AU, definitely we'll check that out before I go on to cryptos. AUD, USD. If this, if this is dropping, then I'd be, I'd be interested. Oh, wow. Look at that. AU just went bullish. So that is telling me that GA and EA probably dropped. Let me go see. Yep, there's GA dropping. Let's go see what your AUD is doing. Yep, and that's dropping too. So I don't know if that was off of AUD news or off of what I like. I said I didn't look at the news or anything like that. I'm not sure, guys. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, me seeing this drop like this right here, that's actually pretty interesting. I don't know what the news events, if there was any news events going on. Let's actually go take a look real quick. Why not? I'm about to be getting off pretty soon anyways. Um, Forex, factory.com. It is Aussie slash Japanese, um, Japanese um, time right now, so I mean, um, Tokyo session, not Japanese session. So, don't doubt those AUD NZD pairs to be moving. Apparently, it's a, it's a New Zealand holiday. No major news for today. We have PMI for US dollar this morning, cash rate, RBA state rate statement, GDP. We have a lot of AUD news, USD news. Oh, it is NFP. It is NFP this week. That is right. We have to watch on Friday, USD. And there we go. That might be the retracement that we will see throughout this week. Just uh, this crazy bullish US dollar. Who knows what we'll see. But yeah, as for the these AUD pairs, I kind of like this. I kind of like seeing this to possibly give me an entry. If it doesn't go any lower, then that's kind of telling me that, okay, maybe the price isn't trying to go completely, completely um, bearish. I definitely like EA on the four hour where it's at at this RSI line. If it does come up higher and respects this, then I'll probably buy it, realistically speaking. But yeah. All right, I'm going to go on to, last but not least, some crypto. Haven't been trading this a little bit, but it looks pretty bullish right now. Currently, it looks bullish, but I'm I'm kind of iffy on the buy, honestly. I called the buy right here. It did buy up, came up here, came to up to 9,800, the same area where it was at last time before it dropped. Let me see. All right, Lorraine, no problem. You have a good night. Thank you for thank you for hopping on. 
Bitcoin on the daily time frame. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of iffy on the Bitcoin sell. I mean, overall, I'm still gonna hold. I'm still gonna be holding this in my crypto wallets. USD long exit all alert. I didn't get in the long, so I'm straight. But Bitcoin is Bitcoin USD. I want to sell it, especially how this RSI line is right here. I do want to sell it, but I want some more confirmations first before I sell it. Um, I did. I had noticed that during the weekend it did go bullish a little bit, but then it ended up coming right back down. So I'm just, yeah, I want to see this go bearish, but I want to see it first break through the RSI line, retest it, and then drop. I kind of want to see Bitcoin realistically come back down to like the 8,000 area. And if even not the 8,000, like 6,500 ish, honestly speaking. I don't really like I, I thought that the halving was going to make Bitcoin's price go bullish, but that never happened. So, hey, it is what it is. The hourly time frame, it's setting up. Oh, it's already called for the sell, actually. But I don't like the way how it looked. I wouldn't have taken this trade because it called the sell off of this bearish candle right here. It looks like price wants to retest the mean line to continue dropping. But personally speaking, I like the four hour. Well, not the four hour. The I think I looked at this yesterday. The two hour time frame. Yeah. I like how this looks. It looks like it's setting up for the sell nicely, way more better than the than the one hour time frame. So Bitcoin, if you're looking for sells, I will probably sell it from right here. Like where it's at right now. Don't have necessarily all the confirmation for the sell. I like how this is under, but this is still on top. So you got to watch out for that. The same thing with here. Not all of them are, are down below ground zero. So I personally wait a little bit on Bitcoin, but I do want to see it sell some. Um, my baby Ripple is playing games with me this whole freaking whole 2020, basically. <laughs> but kind of the same thing. Want to see it sell. It looks like it did go bullish for a little bit. I was in a buy over the weekend, but that didn't last long. I took my profits at a decent time. Didn't make that much. But yeah, same thing with Ripple. Kind of wanted to sell, especially on the daily time frame where it called for this sell and it's still riding under the RSI line. I still want to see this sell quite a bit. I didn't even notice that it came down this low right here. It came down to 18 cents, really? Wow, that's surprising. But anyways, kind of want to still see um, Ripple sell down, maybe back down to like 17 cents before going bullish again. Give me another possible good entry for a swing. But overall, Ripple has just been playing games with me. But yeah, like I said, want to see how it plays right here. Might drop down a little more before going up. Um, Ethereum. Ethereum looks like it's the only one that's bullish, really, out of everything else. This was what really moved throughout the weekend. I'll, I'll look at Litecoin as well. But this, yeah, this moved the most out of all the other cryptocurrencies from the looks of it. Bought from right here. Boom. Went straight to the top. Waiting to see if this is going to sell on that one hour. I'm pretty sure it's setting up for a sell. Yep. Called for it, actually. So, yeah, cryptos. Want to see them drop a little bit more. Litecoin, last one I'm going to look at. Don't really want to get into any technical technicalities on crypto. It's already sold <laughs> for on the one hour time frame, basically. But, yeah, same thing on Litecoin as Ripple and the other ones. Price did go bullish, but then dropped some more. So kind of don't want to buy any cryptos right now. want to see them drop a little bit and then sell. I mean, then buy them. So anything else anybody wants to look at? Any other pairs anybody wants to look at? We 
You got nothing? You got nothing? All right, guys. Well, if that's the case, thank you for hopping on. I really do appreciate for taking your time for the day. Um, I see a lot of good opportunities in the market this week, just as last week. Thank you, Missy. And I would, I'll be posting this up, this recording up. So if you do need to go back to it and take a look, then by all means. But thanks, everybody. Appreciate your time. And we will go ahead and end this call. Y'all have a good night.